Welcome to Fifth Week at the Oxford Union. Today we are kindly joined by James Cracknell. Um, so I'm just going to ask you three quick questions okay. to um, dive right in. Of all your achievements, um, which one do you personally take most pride in? Um, well, the world of sports is very sterile, um, whereas you know, other, other things I've done, whether it be in a desert or a cold desert, or Antarctica or a big ocean, um, it's much more down to problem solving and attrition against the elements. But there's still, as you'll see next year when the Olympics come, that there's something very different about the success or failure of four years being defined by one one moment of which you know, our race was six minutes long. So those six minutes determined whether the previous four years have been a waste of time. And so coping with that kind of pressure although maybe not that positive, is, uh, is something that is, is very difficult to sort of artificially recreate. And so putting yourself in that position and then you know, delivering is yeah. you know, incredibly satisfying. I can imagine. Um, what are the most important things um, you have learned as a result of your um, accident, the cycling accident? Um, in terms of... I think any in, in whether it's just recovering from an accident or life in general, it's not to let people impose ceilings on when they where they think you'll get to. So whether that be starting a business, doing something in sport, or, or recovery from um, any sort of accident, if people will say you're only going to reach there, um, and you believe, and that's the only place you'll ever get to. Whereas if you think you'll get to there, okay, you may only reach there, but at least you've aimed and believed you'll get somewhere else. So I think that's the, the key thing, is define your parameters, not let other people impose things on you. And um, lastly, what do you think of the Oxford Union? I think all uh, unions at universities are phenomenally worthwhile. Um, Oxford Union is uh, one that any student or you know, most members of the public would have heard of because you know, it's, there's one stage where there are only two universities in the country, in England. Um, you know, England only had two when Scotland had six or seven, I think, so, you know, and this was one of them. Um, I hope I won't repeat the behaviour of some of the things I saw at my student union. I went to, uh, it might be giving my age away now, I saw uh, Blur play when they were, you know, 1990, so they weren't massive at all then. Uh, and then uh, a couple of them got quite drunk, took all their clothes off, and jumped in the crowd, and then the concert was stopped. I was like, well, that was four songs worthwhile, so uh, none of that tonight. Okay, well, thank you very much, James. <laughs>